Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our water signs, okay? So our Cancers, our Scorpios, and our Pisces. Now, I did notice that um, the upload that I, or the video that I did for you guys, I did not upload it um, the last go round, okay? So because of that, I'm going to do two readings for you back to back, okay? So take what messages are yours and leave which ones are not for whoever's they are okay let us see what the messages are this spirit has here for you all on tonight let us see tonight today whatever time it is when you see this <laughs> message is for our water signs thank you spirit okay we have the moon okay so hmm interesting i feel like there are some things that you recently discovered water sign and now that you've discovered them you are keeping it pushing, Queen of Swords. Okay, give us more for our order signs. What is this? We have Justice. Okay, another major arcana. So, the Moon card and Justice back to back. Okay, two major arcanas. Huge, huge deal. Okay, whatever this is that you noticed or whatever came to your attention here, okay, you were meant to see. Okay, this could be something about a karmic relationship or a karmic friendship okay let us see our water signs the lovers interesting okay so this could be for a karmic relationship all right um we have the seven of swords somebody's been lying cheating keeping secrets okay and these are big secrets huge secrets okay and i feel like whoever this person is they're very significant to you like i said it feels like a lover okay and with this queen of swords you guys are just deciding to keep it pushing ace of cups right underneath that yes because i feel like you have many options you have other suitors that you could be given the time of day too and you're not you're trying to be respectful you're trying to do the right thing and this person isn't <laughs> okay so let us see here for our water signs cancer scorpio and pisces all right cancer scorpio and pisces so we have the strength card okay another major arcana <laughs> so i feel like you guys have finally gotten strong enough as to where even when this person comes and offers the apology you're able to be like nope i'm okay i'm good because you see straight through this act you see straight through their mask the mask that they're wearing okay for our water signs yeah mm. it's become a really big problem a really big burden on you at this point i feel like you've tried to um <laughs> love this person you've tried to be there for this person you know as a friend or any other way that you could be but here we go okay here we go so let us see for our warning signs wow another major arcana you guys this is really 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 huge so far out of the seven cards you have five major arcana so like i said huge shift huge change okay you guys are deciding to move forward move on okay and you're doing it quick for some of you you might be doing this in the middle of the night for some of you you feel like that's the only way you'll be able to get away from the person is if you do it in the middle of the night or when they're not home maybe they're not home at night okay let us see yeah you got the eight of cups so you guys are already planning this like this is already in motion okay whenever you see whatever this is it's so basically you already have it in your mind that if this person does whatever again you're going to leave because i feel like what's interesting about this card is we have the two swords that are behind her back we know the two of swords is like us you know um being impartial okay seeing something in front of us but not wanting to believe it or accept it the five of swords is about conflict so somebody has some sort of outside interference or they're dibbling and dabbling somehow here all right 
But I definitely feel like this is a karmic relationship. Okay. Give us more here on this moon card for our water signs. The nine of cups. So for some of you, you want to move forward. So finding this out is like, okay, yes, that's what I was waiting on. I was waiting on you to do some shit. I was waiting. I was waiting. Okay. You were waiting on them to slip up. Seven of swords here, please. For our water signs. Tower. I know y'all heard them cards. Tower. Ten of Swords coming out to clarify the Seven of Swords. There's a betrayal here. Okay? There's a betrayal here. And I, I've been saying it for a minute now, guys. Alright? <clears throat> and when it comes out, you're moving on. You are so serious. Let me put it this way for you. You, see, you are so serious. You are like out of there you're getting on the first thing smoking okay let me show you this this picture <laughs> making my way downtown walking fast <laughs> yeah i know i'm a mess but seriously this is what i see mm -hmm. all right yeah you guys were just waiting 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 the seed was already planted the last time they did something. You were just waiting. And here they go. Like the dumbass. <laughs> no offense to them, but I mean, if you fumble a gym, like, I feel like you were wish fulfillment for this person. That's what they tell you with the Nine of Cups and the Moon card. They're like, you're everything I've ever wanted in a person, in a woman, in a man. You know, you're everything I ever wanted in a companion. You're everything I ever wanted. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Um... I'm so happy with you. You make me so happy. You know, I'm so pleased. I'm overjoyed. Because the Nine of Cups is being over the moon, honey. Okay, literally. We got the Nine of Cups here with the moon. It's like, they tell you, you make them over the moon. You know, you make them feel over the moon. But it's like, but you out here cheating and betraying me and lying and sneaking. Like, nah, something is going on. Something is big time heavy going on. Okay. Like, we can't even deny it at this point. Yeah, so we have synchronicity, signs, 1111, 222333. You guys might be seeing signs, such as 555, like I mentioned earlier. Okay? <clears throat> you might be getting a lot of messages, seeing a lot of things about cheating, a lot of things about lying on your social media and shit like that. And you're like, why the fuck am I seeing all this shit about cheating? All right, we got realization so that something can come to your awareness. It says awareness, finding out, coming to light. Yeah, what's done in the dark comes to the light. Like I said, you online, okay? You might minding your business online and you're seeing all this shit about, <laughs> okay? And this is what spirit is doing so that it can come to your awareness. It can come to your attention. Let's leave this off on a positive note, though. You're not going to leave it all like that. <clears throat> no, no, no. For our water signs, see, spirit. For our water signs, we have choose who you are becoming. Oh, <laughs> I just got chills because I feel like you guys are no longer the same person that you were when you started dealing with this individual. And you ever seen that quote? I know y'all have because whoever I'm talking to, you be online. Y'all ever seen that meme where it's like, um, Damn. Anyway, I don't forgot. Moving forward. Choose who you are becoming. Okay? Choose who you are becoming. Spirit told me to keep it to the point. Let's keep it moving. We have befriend the word polarize. Okay? Befriend the word polarize. So, I feel this energy here where you guys are expanding. Okay? Like I said, you're just not the same person that you were when you were with them. Oh, that's what it was. Okay? Vibrate so high that people no longer know how to approach you. Okay? These toxic individuals, they don't know how to approach you or the sign. They don't know how to um, come close to you anymore. Yeah, we have Rise. Okay, you are a whole new person now. Rainbow energy here. Okay, I just posted a picture earlier about the rainbow. There you go. Boom. Okay. Um, rainbow or you are operating in the 5D. This person is operating in the 3D. So this is why you have to choose yourself. You are no longer in the 3D. You are not. You are very conscious. You're very aware. So it's like you have to be mindful of who you're dealing with here. Okay. 
because you're expanding and as you expand more people are going to know who you are and this person this is how they this is how they move in that's embarrassing for you that's embarrassing so underlying energy is collaboration of souls okay it could also be damaging to your career possibly spirit just said okay so if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and everything.